Today you get a twofer, two iconic American boots. They were sent in at the same time. Trent's gonna take one, I'm gonna take one, and let's get these things restored. Let's go. So the two pairs of boots that we have, we have the pair of Wolverine Thousand Miles. I absolutely love the uppers on these. And we also have the Red Wing Iron Rangers. There's only one fair way to do this. We're gonna jot down our names on a piece of paper, draw them out of a hat, and that's what we're stuck with. So let's get it done. Now we just need a hat. And the only person sitting wore a hat today is Forrest. Hey Forrest. I'll draw first. Me, myself, and I. I will get that. Could you make this anything smaller? That gum. I get the red wing. Whoever had the thousand miles, you get Trent. I'm sorry. Don't listen to a word that comes out of that man's mouth. Uh, Daniel, that's the name I got on here. You're in good hands. Let me know what you have up. All right, so this had a Vibram rubber sole. It takes a long time to get through those things, and that's actually a good one for this boot because he didn't wear through. The, the welt's in great shape, the rand's in great shape. This is just a standard resole. So less work and less money. All right, my first critique, and I would say kind of complaint of the Red Wing Iron Ranger Tongue Twister, and I see this a lot on their heritage style boots, is the insole has this coating. I don't know if it's the adhesive that they use, but it doesn't stick to uh, like just like a regular veg tan sole. And this is veg tan, but the gimming just comes unglued so easily. And to uh, just if, to make you think that I didn't squirt anything, that one you saw me squirt, that was on this one. So I wanted to test it on one that I didn't squirt glue thinner on. And yep, sure enough, the whole thing all the way around to here is just come undone. Guys, I know we're just a little ways into this video, but hey, if you're enjoying the video so far, if you would go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. It just helps us to know that, hey, I'm enjoying this and I wanna see more of it. Thanks.
So my pair has a fiberglass shank and it looks like a uh, paperboard, paperboard, maybe leatherboard. I, you know, I can't tell, but hey, at least the gimming is sticking on mine. Okay, so we have this pair of Wolverines and Red Wings broken down. Everything's off. And the next thing is we're gonna put some hot cork into both of these. But before we do that, guys, let me tell you real quick about a company that I love. And I also know a lot of you guys love it because I get comments all the time on the video saying, hey, I love these belts and I just bought some. I wanted to let you guys know. And that is Anson Belts. Guys, Anson Belts is a micro adjustable holeless belt system. It has up to 30 size options, each just a quarter of an inch apart on every belt. And the great thing is it's one size fits all. So when your belt arrives, you just wrap it around your waist, you find out where you want it, you cut it down to size, you put on the belt buckle, bam, it's done. This way it fits your exact waist with no guessing. No more ugly creases and no more sloppy punched holes. And one of the other things that I really love about Anson belts is that it is a mix and match system. So they have a lot of different belts that come in different materials such as leather, suede, canvas. They even have exotic leathers. And they also have a lot of different belt buckles. Uh, they have different styles, different color metals, and that way you're able to interchange the belt buckles and the belts, giving you a lot of different belt options. Now guys, one of the other reasons that I really love Anson is because they have a lifetime guarantee on your belts. I mean, you're not gonna find that hardly anywhere. Also, they have amazing customer reviews and it is a family owned business. I know one of the owners personally, and he's a great guy, and that's another big reason I love to support Anson. Now guys, Anson has a lot of great deals, so make sure that you're signing up for their text club as well as their email list. Also guys, Anson makes a great gift option. So for you know birthdays, anniversaries, Christmas, whatever it may be, definitely check out Anson and even their box sets, which are a great gift. Now ladies and gents, for a limited offer, make sure you are clicking on the special discount link down in the description box, or you can go to ansonbelt.com forward slash Trent for an amazing discount. Now, I personally recommend getting the box set of three buckles and two straps, giving you a possible combination of six different belt options. And guys, you get all of this for under $100. All right, so the gimming was coming up. We've glued that back down. We're gonna hit it with a hammer just to kind of set it. And then we'll set our shank back in there and it's my turn to cork. All right, we're gonna put a midsole on this pair of boots. We're gonna do something a little different than the look that was originally on here, and it requires a midsole. So that's what we're doing.
It's time to clean off our boots. Now, again, Heath takes his, I'll take mine. Both of them are made of different upper uh, leathers and uh, we're gonna be using different products for each of our boots. So let's get to cleaning off these boots. Mine are smooth leather, so we're just gonna use some saddle soap and then some old leather conditioner. And my boot is made from a wax suede. So what I'm gonna do, I wanna play, uh, I wanna be on the safe side. I'm gonna use a suede cleaner and uh, just clean those up a bit. And then that should be about all I need to do on mine. All right, so the conditioner, they come in multiple colors. I've got brown and neutral, they got black. Uh, there are white stitches on the upper. And so to play safe, the best thing to do is to use neutral. And then if you need to touch up little areas like the cap here, maybe a little bit right here where it's light, then you can go and use the darker. That's just the safest way to do it.
All right, so these resoles are complete. Now guys, before we show you what we did, just a couple of quick reminders as always. If you want to send any of your shoes or boots to us to be resold or repaired, check us out at potterandsons.com. The website's down below. And also, if you are looking for any shoe care or leather care products, again, check us out at potterandsons.com. We have just about anything you will need to care for your leather and your footwear. All right, let's start with the pair of boots that I did. Now, I had a pair of Wolverine Thousand Miles. Now, I gotta tell you right off the top, I absolutely love the look of this pair of boots. I've never seen this look of a thousand mile come into our shop. And the leather uppers on these come from a English tannery called CF Stead. They make some of the best uh, suede in the world and these are no exception. I absolutely love the look of these. Yeah, these are pretty cool. So now, the guy that owned them, he did want to go with a different look. So we took off the original soles, took off the original heel pads, and we went with the Potter and Sons wedge sole. I love it. It just looks good on yeah. the, on this pair of boots. And we'll do a video over these soles. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more later on about the, uh, the Potter and Sons wedge sole. But uh, basic resole, again, guys, this is what happens when your boots stay in good shape and you care for them. He sent them in. We, we were able to keep the uh, the welts on them. We did not have to change those out because they were in good shape. All we did was replace the cork and put on a new midsole, put on a new wedge sole, and then I just simply cleaned off this leather with just some uh, suede new butt cleaner. That's it. All right, mine. I had a pair of Red Wing Iron Rangers, the classics, and they just had the classic uh, cork rubber sole on the bottom. It's, it's the Vibram sole now that they're using. But we got rid of that. He wanted to go with a leather rubber combination, which is, it looks really good on heritage style boots. Yeah, I agree. It had a, the lug pattern on the bottom. We have three different styles of that, but there's a lug pattern. And then we did a half inch lug top lift with a little bit of leather in between there. So it was also, the welt was in great shape. I told you what my little thought on the, the insole on those, but at least it's, it is leather. I did like it. Now, the thing about the Red Wing Iron Ranger though, is that I have noticed that those boots do hold up extremely, extremely well. Yeah. So while we do see that the gimming pops off pretty easily on them when, you know, when they've come in to resole them, uh, the boots are, are like They're pretty solid. Them. They're tank, so they do hold up. Okay, anything else? That's it. It All was right. a straight resell. Pretty, pretty much. So again, guys, if you enjoyed the video, before you leave, before you leave, please, if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. It lets us know that, hey, you enjoy it and want to keep seeing more of this stuff, and it does help the channel grow. Also, subscribe to the channel and tell others about us. So that's about it. Until next time, y'all have a good one.